All right, let's go see Atoli, Atoli, Atli, whatever they call her. I'm not gonna use the warp zone. I'm just gonna run. What happened to that person who was just like, you need to give everybody a damn flyer so I'll give you something. Come on. Come on. I came all the way down here. Kick the thing. Where is she? Where is she? Alright, fine. Let me go over here. That's not the fountain, but okay. I guess it is a fountain, but that's that was a fountain I was running around. Stupid. your paralyzed hand well it's still there but even so the fact that I can speak is a big step forward look I even bought a controller that I can use with one hand <laughs> are you sure you want to keep going with the world <laughs> I mean Aren't you scared? Oh. Come on. It's not like the world's going to go away. So why not just take some time off? Of course I'm scared. I'm scared, but... But I'm not going to quit the world, ever! Oh. After all, I can tell. This isn't anything that a doctor can cure. If I don't do my best here, it'll never be healed. There's... there's nothing I can do for Adelie, is there? So I have an avatar now. So what? Nothing's changed at all. First Shino, and then Adelie. I can't save anyone by myself. Forget the fact that Sakaki is here. Maseo? You're not feeling well, are you? If you have time in the game, you should rest up. Oh. Okay. Well then. Such an idiot. It's here in the world where Adderley seems to feel most at home. After all, this is where Sakaki is. Why the hell does she get to Ninja Vanish out of thin air and I have to go to these little checkpoints and shit? I still got now now I have the power to log out of the world and go and check the emails again. Fix this crap. Doll syndrome? What the hell is that? She also said that Yada told her about Ida and GU, but frankly I don't think there was any need to tell her now. What do you think? Seriously, what on earth could he be thinking? Even after we got back from the Ida serve. Sorry about that, my boss came by to check on us. I hit the send button by accident and tried to hide my cell phone. Anyway, I was, as I was saying, out of least condition didn't heal completely even after we got back from the Ida server. In that case, there's only one thing we can do. Get back to, uh, get back Atoli's epitaph from the Ida. Uh, why do you put epitaph in quotes though? That's weird. That's our only choice. I bet Yada is investigating its whereabouts right now. I plan to go ask him about it once I'm done with this job. You can come along too, right? Of course I can. 
Then let's go meet up in front of Raven's home. OPS seems like it totally seems still needs to process all this new stuff. Not a surprising seeing what's happening. I'll be nice to her if you see her, okay? And I totally didn't do that, so whatever. Like Adelie wrote Coon an awfully detailed email. Nothing happened? After all that, you're telling me that nothing happened? How the hell can that be? Yet, it is a fact that nothing the real world saw was practically nothing. The time we spent in the Ida server was only a few minutes in the real world. As far as everyone is concerned, the whole thing was nothing more than some network trouble. But, but there were real-life players losing consciousness during that time! Look at the response in the news reports and forums. No one, except for those directly involved in the incident, believe that it is even possible, let alone true. So you're saying we should just let it go? Oh yeah, that's rich. Paseo, watch your tongue! Shut up! Just how important is this guy anyway? He's always acting all wise and knowledgeable, but he never does anything useful when it counts! And on top of that, he tried to use all of us as his own personal laboratory guinea pigs! Disgusting. There's nothing special about him. He's just a coward! The anger that you are displaying stems from Adelie's player, right? There is no need to worry. I'm well aware of her unfortunate symptoms. Oh, really? Well, good for you! So now what are you gonna do about it? Hmm. <laughs> Please enlighten me! What's the great and mighty Master Yada going to do? Any ideas, huh? We are currently tracing the problematic Ida. As long as we can retrieve her epitaph from Ida, her symptoms should heal completely. So, do you have a problem with that? A problem? You bet I do. I'm sick of this Yada. Make an announcement about Ida and what just happened, and shut down the server! I mean the CC Corp executives will listen to you if you talk to them, won't they? At this rate, there will only be more and more victims. Hmm. Yada! You wish us to make this information public without plans to solve the underlying problem? Are you aware there is a high probability that the panic on the Ida server would be repeated in the real world if we did what you propose? <coughs> hey, Yada. If you shut down the server, Epitaph users wouldn't be able to access the world either, right? Of course. In that case, I'm completely against shutting it down. Why? Because I haven't settled my score with him. Him? Try edge. Haseo, are you still thinking only about yourself? After everything Adelie's been through? Myself? Hardly. The only one I'm thinking about is Shino. If it'll bring Shino back, I'll... Enough! I see how it is. I'm sorry, but I can't stay with you all any longer. I won't. I can't. Coon! Leave him be. But... He'll come back, you'll see. You think so? I think he's pissed for real. He will have no choice but to come back. 
Once he calms down, he will understand that no matter how much he dislikes it, this is the only place with all the answers. Never mind him. There is something I'd like to ask you. Huh? Did you find anything of use in the IDA server's operation folder? <laughs> What's this? O Von Zero One. Ovon. Can't remember. If we were to shut down the world, not only would we lose the means to cure Adelie of her affliction, but we would also lose forever the means to restore consciousness to the Lost Ones, to Shino. Don't worry about it. As long as you keep your promise to me, I'll be happy to cooperate with you. However! Don't you dare utter Shino's name with that forked tongue of yours again! Even now, Shino's unable to return to the real world! Master Yada, are you sure that it's wise to continue operating the world as you've been? Sorry, they, they keep doing that. They throw that the X button in there. You'll be listening to a whole thing. You'll be sitting there all like fading away, but sort of listening to them talking because they're not really doing anything. And then it'll be like X. Rather than conducting investigations of regular players, perhaps we should gather specialists on a closed server. What would be cool about this game is if it led to outside the game and the people were different. But I don't think PS2 really does that. Hi. Yes? Do you know where Ida's interest currently lies? No. People. The reason that Ida is staying in the world is because there are so many things of interest present within it. If we shut down the server, Ida will cease to remain in the world. And will likely move its interest elsewhere. As to what that chain of events would bring about, both in the world and beyond, even I cannot begin to imagine. We at GU must prevent the damage created by Ida from spreading. At the same time, we will gather at Gain the power to confront it. That is our highest priority now. Right. Then go and do what you must. I yes, will. Master Yada. Sorry, my finger slipped. Yes. Project GU is progressing quite smoothly. Errors in our predictions are minor. There is no cause for concern. Oh, that is all well and good. But some of our superiors have concerns about your method of operation. Hmm. Fulfill your duties without any unnecessary thinking. Haseo, Gaspard's talking nonsense and won't listen to reason. Please come to Canard's home as soon as you can. Hey, Haseo, you gotta help me out. Syllabus said he won't believe me at all. Now, now, Gaspard. No matter how much fun the world may be, games and reality are totally separate things. These guys don't need to know about Ida, or Avatars for that matter. Yeah, Gaspard. 
How could something like that happen? <laughs> Haseo? But you were there too, weren't you? Huh? Hmm. That's weird. I mean, that's really weird. Was I just dreaming or something? Don't take all of them apart. Seems that both managed to return to the real world. Ordinarily, this would be called for celebration. If you lost your way, I'd be happy to talk to you about it. Come alone. <sighs> Ovan, how did he know about Adderley? He did. I did go to the right place, right? Uh -huh. I hope so. Here we go. Hello, Haseo. You have rather a serious look about you. What is it you want? Oh, Vaughn, that excuse about wanting to help is so lame it wouldn't even pass for third grade theater. Mm, it's tough to have your sincerity rejected. You're like a younger brother to me, so I couldn't leave you to fend for yourself. Ha! Huh. You're the one who abandoned the Twilight Brigade. And by the way, where do you get off calling me your brother? Who do you think you are? Well now, that's a surprise. Do you think that I disappeared for no reason, Haseo? Yeah, well who cares about the reason? All that matters is that you abandoned us. That's enough. I'm afraid that is an undeniable truth. However, at the same time, it is also only one of several truths. Do you not wish to finally know the truth? The truth? Yes. The reason that Shino fell into a coma, Triedge's identity, and the secrets of the epitaphs? Once investigated, they all lead to a single entity. Do you know what that is? Ida. Exactly. It all begins with Ida. Pursue Ida. Everything from how to save Shino to how to help Adelie can be found with Ida. Hey, just how much do you know anyway? What do you know about Adelie? You know what? You always know too damn much! <laughs> Trust me, I don't know everything there is to know either. Haseo, listen. Epitaphs call Ida, and Ida calls Epitaphs. Epitaphs? Yes, but only a small piece of the truth will appear in front of a single epitaph. If you wish to know the entire truth, you will need to gather the eight phases of Morgana. Eight phases? Yes, in other words, the first phase, the terror of death, Scathe. The second phase, the mirage of deceit, Innis. The third phase, the propagation, Magus. The fourth phase, the prophet, Fidhel. The fifth phase, the machinator, Gore. The sixth phase, the temptress, Maha. The seventh phase, the avenger, Tarvos. And the eighth and final phase, the rebirth, Corbinic. 
These eight epitaphs are known as the eight phases of Morgana. So basically, if I gather all of them, Ida will just appear? Yes. Furthermore, your nemesis triad and the epitaphs will likely appear. <laughs> Do you see the path? Wait! Hey, why did you tell me these things anyway? Is atonement not a good enough reason for you? Don't give me that! Do you think I'm really stupid enough to swallow that story? <laughs> the eight phases of Morgana? Both Shino and Adelie will be saved if I gather them? I'm Scathe. Pi is Tarvos. Kun is Magus. Endrance is Maha. Then there's Adelie. So three left. Fine. I'll go along with your story for the time being, Ovan. But I won't forget. How could you? You abandoned us! My daughter is asking me a whole bunch of pertinent questions like, why is the camera moving around much? The answer is because all they do is talk and they're trying to make it seem interesting by changing the camera angles. Also, in uh, most times, the trope is in the game when somebody tells you to collect a whole bunch of things to get something vague done, they're getting you to do their dirty work for them. So the idea is that Ovan has a plan, but he's using Haseo here because he already knows Haseo's drive and everything. He knows Haseo's going to pick those things up regardless. And that kind of sucks. I don't know. For, probably for wallets and keys. Yeah, a regular pocket, but maybe a zippers for some keys. Like if they're jogging pants, they'll put a zipper there for like just just your uh, ID or something, so that you don't have to carry a lot of extra stuff. Hey, what's up? What is that circle? The circle is a thing that teleports us to different places. Oops. So, where, that, where the circle is, that's where we're supposed to go. Mm -hmm. Four unread mail. Dude, man, there's like a continuous discussion. Why is why are there not a bunch of people talking in the corner? What's up? Now all the kids are in here. Daddy, what is that little sticker? Daddy, what is the lipstick for? The lipstick? Yeah. Is that what those little exclamation points right there? The red things? I don't know. What are you looking for? Maybe that says. Oh, there's a new town to access? Character fulfilled the necessary conditions has been granted access to Deldana. Alright, whatever. What's it's a new place for us for them to tell us to go so when we show up that they could talk more. Uh maintenance on the bike shop. Bike factory has now been completed. Okay. Yeah? What, this? Yeah. That's, it's just chapstick, it's not lipstick. Daddy does not wear lipstick. Hmm. You're so silly. My sister has a pajama that has buttons. Gildana's home street in the far back. Daddy. 
<laughs> what? Am I intermediate level? Yes. Can I put some on? Did you brush your teeth yet? Yeah. Then no. Go ahead. Can you reach it? Yeah. It's way back in the back of. Uh, it looks like we can move. It's for protect. The new at home is way in the back of Deldana. The immediate guild, huh? It's in Deldana. Might as well check it out. She climbed across the bed. These conversations I'm having with my kids are more interesting than the conversations going on in this game. Where they're just dulling, dulling out slow information. I should go over to Kennard's at home and file the update for the guild. I should be set with no problems if I just talk to the Grunty in the hall. The whole place is not quite. Yep. You put what up where? Okay. Now those little things are ducks. What is this? It's supposed to extend the power of your internet. That's awesome. Yes, your guild renewal has been completed. Now even a giant nose hair like yourself can use this grand facility to its fullest. Oink. Be grateful. Oink. Punk. Man, he really pisses me off. Congratulations, Canard's finally escaped being an entry-level guild. It's almost so grand, I can't relax because I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> 